Welcome to the ROS2 Basics Tutorials. In this video, we will talk about the configuration of the environment in ROS2. So, in the last video, we did the installation and in this video, we will configure the environment. But it's a very one step, but the concept is very important for you to understand because then you will implement it in a different ROS2 projects. So, let's start by uh, opening a terminal, right? Oh, sorry. Now, when we open the terminal, uh, what we want to do is what it says in the documentation that you want to first source your ROS2 package. What does that mean? I will just talk in a, a second. So, you just say opt ROS and your distro, whichever is your distribution, and then you say setup.bash, right? Now, when you source it, what does the sourcing means that now my terminal is able to detect the ROS2 commands. So when I say ROS2 and I press tab, you will see that there are a bunch of commands here which I can use. So this is just a demonstration that right now my terminal is detecting the ROS2 commands. But let's try and open a different terminal, a new terminal and I press ROS2 again and I press tab. Now it doesn't give me that commands anymore. It just gives you the all the files which are in the uh, in that particular uh, root folder and not really the action. So it doesn't really detect what ROS2 is doing, right? So I'll press uh, Control C and uh, I will source it again as uh, we saw. Opt ROS humble setup dot bash and then I say ROS2 again you will find that yes now it now now it is kind of detecting it right so it is having so sourcing is very important so that your terminal knows what is the meaning of that specific command now you would ask hmm so do i have to source every time when i open a terminal to run a ros project yes you will have to but there is a simpler way of doing it is to add this file in your dot bash rc what is the meaning of dot bash rc? So let's uh, let me just close these two terminals and let's open the new two terminals, right? I'm opening a new terminal here. So what what me, what it means by dot bash rc file? So this dot bash rc file is a file which runs before every which runs before every uh, opening of a terminal. So whenever a, a terminal is opened this dot bash rc file runs with it before it so i'm just going to say g edit so it's just to edit that particular file dot bash rc and i press enter and now you open this dot bash rc file now this file always runs before the terminal is open so at the end of the file what i will do is i will just write here source i will write here opt ros destroy is humble and then I will write setup dot bash. Now what this will do is this will just run this command every time I open a new app uh, or every time I open a new terminal. And this is uh, easy because now whenever I open it, I don't have to source it again and again, right? So, but what I will do is I will create one small mistake here. I will just add a random mistake so that you know that it runs before this, right? So I'm going to save it and then close it. Again, close this folder. Let's open a new terminal, fresh one. Now, you see that there is a, a mistake here. So it says that this there is no such file and directory called as setup1.bash because obviously you didn't find it, right? But this proves you that this command ran before you opened this terminal. So this is a kind of uh, like a re-verification of what we're doing. So what we have to do is just again, gedit dot dot bash rc oh come on and then you go and you make the change right so and then save it close it and again close it we open a new terminal again and now if i press ros2 and i press tab again now you see that these commands are now detected automatically so this is what you want to do now there is also a very simpler way of doing it instead of opening the bash rc is just to uh, run this specific command <clears throat> so what does this command do is it is just echo echo means to copy source this specific uh, command which we already have copied into dot bash rc 
So this command directly adds that line to the dot bash RC instead of you manually doing it. So if you just run this command, it will be fine, right? It will it will just add it to the bash RC and after this, whenever you open a new terminal, it will just um, it will just detect it, right? So I'm not going to run it again because it will just duplicate it. So, but now you know this is this was a very basics of. <laughs> how the configuration of your ROS2 uh, package should work. And now that you have configured it, whenever you open a new terminal and you start working on ROS2, it will directly detect those commands and you know help you out with, uh, with, with working on your projects. That was it for this video. It was, I know it was a very short command that uh, took the whole video, but it is very important for you to understand how the sourcing works because when you create your own projects, ROS projects in the future, you also want to source it. And now you, because you know the basic concept behind how the sourcing works, it's gonna make your life a lot easier in the future. But that was it for this video. Hope to see you guys in the next one with understanding of how to create ROS package, how to create a first ROS package and ROS workspace. But before I leave you, I would like to know what you think about this whole playlist, what we are working on right now. If you like the effort, what you're putting in, please like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have more comments or any recommendations or any constructive feedback, I would say, please let us know in the comment section below and see you guys in the next one with Ross Workspace and Packages. Bye.